the students are here to raise the alarm or sound the alarm for improved passing conditions and facilities, especially against the backdrop of having to pay increased facility fees uh, at the beginning of this academic year. Um, while, we, while, while our objective is to have classes resume as soon as possible, and while we've been playing a mediator role between administration and unions, the current conditions uh, call for, cause um, cause for alarm. All right, cause for awareness, and we believe that at this juncture, more should have been done, and more should be done before students are expected to return to classes. I know. The Vice Chancellor, once we submit, like we have always done, he, he works proactively to get things done. That is the truth of the matter. Um, but given the sit-in and all these, and the other industrial actions taking place, to get some of the basic demands um, carried out uh, in this, during this period of time, it's, it's difficult. I know steps were made to contract private services. Um, because one of the demands we made uh, was to ensure that the, the, the washroom or the toilet facilities and classroom facilities were cleaned and cobwebbed and, and properly sanitized for student usage because currently the state of the washrooms and the classrooms is untenable. If you speak to students ten from who attend this university 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and you explain to them the prevailing basic uh, uh, fundamental issues at the campus, cleaning, cutting the grass on time, ensuring drains are clean, ensuring that the classrooms are well kept. Um, they'd say, hey, we had the same issues 15, 20 years ago. Students, students reminded us that during their tenure, they used to have to sit in classrooms with umbrellas when the rain falls. And it's, it's similar, similar um, occurrences at this point in time. We're saying that our four parents may have endured this, we have endured it to this point, and we, we, we believe it's enough. Student body has um, has been given mixed support, I should say. We've had a couple of meetings with people of um, encounters, uh, and we've done we've had events such as our we had a march. Uh, the, the deteriorating conditions currently prevailing at the university. We had a candlelight vigil outside of a council meeting, um, and we put up a few, a few banners on the signs around so that there's public awareness to our concern or plight currently. Um, we call this action the UG Revolution, uh, hashtag revolu uh, UG Revolution. Basically, the concept of revolution in this regard is fundamentally a change in the way we think, a change in our mindsets, a change. A, a, a radical change in our mindsets and our approaches, all right? So that's what this revolution is about. I know there's a lot of misconceptions out there that we're pushing for the staff to get 60 and that kind of stuff. That's not the case. Um, both the staff and the students have equal grievances at this point, and collectively we can sound our concerns, but there are very much different um, reasons for it, the actions we take as students and the staff at this juncture. I do believe for the students, the matter rests with the administration. Um, and the administration has uh, the power to call upon the uh, external stakeholders to address some of the concerns. Like the cleaning of the drains is a major task. It might call for the ministry or some private entity to come on board. Um, so where the students are concerned, our issues are directly with the administration, especially against the backdrop of tuition fees. All right, uh, that's one aspect. Our, our, our issues are also with the staff because we have not received grades as yet. All right, so lecturers, um, admin, all of them play a part in the grading process and the release of grades. So we do have um, uh, issues or concerns with us in that regard. So solutions lie both with the administration and the staff because at the end of the day, the students are the main stakeholders of the university and we feel the brunt of it. All right. Um, to call upon the government and that kind of stuff, I think that's more in the in the arena where the staff and salary is concerned because we will not be paying any more increased tuition.